G'day everyone, welcome to the latest episode of 4x4 Australia's How To Off-Road Driving Series. And today we're going to talk about steep descents. So first of all, you really want to know your vehicle. That's the best way that you'll be able to make a safe descent. So you'll want to know if it's got low range reduction and if so, how good is it? You'll want to know if it's got hill descent control, a rear diff lock, uh, obviously if it's a manual or automatic transmission. The more you know about your vehicle, the easier it will be to drive down a steep hill. And the first thing you want to know about your vehicle is what kind of tyres you have fitted to it. If you have standard passenger car tyres, they're likely to get damaged on a track like this. But if you equip your vehicle with light truck construction tyres, they're going to resist puncturing and resist tearing a lot better in this kind of terrain. And as always, when you're driving off-road, you really want to focus on your tyre pressures. So we've been running 35 PSI in this vehicle on the way up here today. As we got onto gravel roads, we've dropped them down to 25 PSI. And I think 25 PSI will work pretty good on this descent. Uh, if it gets a little bit slippery or if the conditions look slipperier, you might want to drop them a bit lower. So once you've got your tyre pressures sorted, you need to set up other parameters in the vehicle to get it ready for the descent. Firstly, you need to make sure you're in four-wheel drive. In some vehicles, that's just a case of flicking a switch. In others, you might have to manually flick it into four-wheel drive, get out and lock the hubs, old school stuff. But make sure you're in four-wheel drive. Make sure you're in low range. Select first gear. Even if you're in an auto, you'll still want to select first gear for a steep descent. Otherwise, the vehicle will just run on down the hill and get away from you. So by engaging low range first gear, that's going to give your vehicle the best possible reduction and the best engine braking effect. So that means you'll be able to safely and quite easily descend the hill without having to rely on your brakes. There are a couple of reasons you don't want to rely on your brakes when doing a steep descent off road. Firstly, if you have an older vehicle and you don't have ABS, you can lock up the wheels and, and particularly the front wheels, in which case you'll lose your ability to steer the vehicle. Even if you have ABS, if you go down a long steep descent relying on the brakes, the brakes will eventually start heating up. And not just the brakes themselves and the discs and the pads and all that sort of stuff, but the wheel hubs and everything else in there. And that's not good for the vehicle. If your vehicle has a hill descent control system and you're doing a really long steep descent, you still wouldn't want to rely on that either. And the reason is that the hill descent control actually bites on the brakes using the ABS hardware and software and that will also overheat the brakes. So you still need to engage low range first gear. So if you do rely on your brakes going down a long steep descent and say you've got a water crossing at the bottom, icy cold water, remember all those mechanical components, the brakes themselves, the hubs, the bearings, they're all gonna be hot. And as you dive into icy cold water, that's gonna quench. It's gonna suck in water past the seals and cause mechanical damage down the track. So give your vehicle a little bit of time to cool down take a little wander, take some photos before you go diving into cold water. So I mentioned a rear diff lock earlier being good for descents. We all know how a rear diff lock can work going up a steep hill by keeping the two wheels moving at the same speed no matter what, even if one's up off the ground and the other's on the ground. This is what you want also when you're going down a hill because if you lift a wheel up off the ground and you don't have a rear locker, then the vehicle can run away from you. But if you have the rear locker engaged and those two wheels are turning at the same speed no matter what, that gives you better use of the engine braking as you go down the steep descent and therefore more vehicle control. So when you're approaching a hill like this one, it can be difficult to see what's ahead of you. So you've got a couple of options there. If you're traveling with someone else, you can get them to get out and spot for you. If you're on your Pat Malone, you should get out and make sure you have a good look at the hill before you just go driving off down it. Things you might want to look out for are obstacles and big rocks or big gullies and dips in the terrain, tree roots sticking out on the side of the track, anything that can damage your vehicle or send you off course and, and where you don't want to go. So from the outside of the vehicle here, it might look relatively easy with this, uh, this descent in front of us. But once you're in there behind the wheel in the driver's seat, uh, a lot of modern vehicles have got quite long bonnets now and, and it can be quite difficult to see over the top especially if you've come over a rise or something and there's a descent in front of you. So it's really good to park it up for a minute, get out and have a good look around. We've spoken about how to set your vehicle up for the steep descent. Uh, we'll get inside this vehicle in a second and, and show you the actual process of doing just that. 
But while we're out the side of the vehicle now, let's take a look at this, uh, this hill in front of us here. So we've got some, uh, some good looking sandstone here that looks like it might have a fair bit of traction, and, but there's some looser stuff on the outside of the track. And even this um, sandstone though, it does have a, a lot of sort of gravelly stuff on top, and that's gonna make it quite slippery, even though it looks like there's gonna be a fair bit of traction there. The other thing we've got to look out for is uh, what's off either side of our track here. Uh, there's a big drop off down here on our left that we won't be able to see very easily from inside the vehicle. And uh, over the other side, I mean, there's, a, there's a, a rocky incline on that side, but on the other side of that, there's also a bit of a steep drop off. So we want to keep it right down uh, as much on the center of the track as we can, but without dipping into that gully over there. So we've had a good look at the track and what's around us. Let's get inside the vehicle now and, uh, and show you how to set it up for this steep descent. Okay, we've had a good look around and uh, as we've pulled up to uh, this uh, steep descent here, we've been in um, four high range. So we're gonna wanna firstly grab low range. So the first thing we do is we select neutral and then we just spin this over to 4L and it says four by four shift in progress up on the dash. And once it's in, we've got a clear 4L here on the dash, no flashing or anything like that. So we know it's in 4L. Now, before we go off, we want to select first gear. So back to drive, across to sport, forward until it's in first. I got one up on the dash, so I know it's in first gear and that's going to give us the best engine braking for this hill. So I've had a good look around. Uh, it's pretty undulating. It looks pretty slippery. I think the rear diff lock is a good idea for this uh, descent here. So hit this button here, and again, it comes up on the dash next to the 4L. It tells me that the rear diff lock is now engaged. It's pretty quick in this car. So there's one more device we have in this vehicle. Um, if you're comfortable with how it's set up, like I am at the moment, we won't worry about it, but this is your hill descent control. If you hit this button here, uh, it says hill descent control ready on the dashboard. So the hill descent control uses the vehicle's ABS braking hardware and software. So basically it keeps the speed at a set speed, no matter what gear you're in. It's pretty straightforward, but the problem is if you've got a really long descent, as we said, it'll heat up the brakes and other mechanical components. Uh, so you're better off just in, particularly in this example we have in front of us, it's a short one. Uh, we don't really need hill descent control. I'm gonna turn that off, tells me on the dash. Um, happy in low range first gear. We're uh, ready to roll, let's get stuck into it. As I said before, when we were outside the vehicle, uh, it was pretty easy to see what was going on with this track. But from here, inside the vehicle, I can't see over the bonnet at all. Not a thing, but I know where I need to go. Okay, so we're gonna edge it forward just a little bit, and I can't quite see over there, but I know if I go hard left now, I'm gonna be on track. And once I drop the nose of the vehicle down here, I can now see the track. So we're over the little rise there. I can see the track. I can look out the window here on the side if that helps, which it does. We're in low range first. I've used a little bit of brake, but now I can get off the brake entirely and just let the vehicle's engine braking do the job for us. And because I had the uh, rear diff lock engaged, that um, allowed us to uh, have, have more control of the vehicle as we went down the hill there. Well, there you have it. That was quite a uh, steep and technical descent that we've just done there by ourselves. Uh, we took our time, we got out, had a good look around, and uh, we were able to do that very safely. But that, uh, that's just one kind of descent. That's a rocky descent. Uh, we had a fair bit of traction or there were a few slippery spots, but there's all sorts of terrain where you're going to have to handle steep descents. There's high country tracks, there's big snotty muddy hills, and of course there's really steep sand dunes, which will be some of the steepest descents you ever do. Sand dunes are, are very steep, you, you come up a gentle side and then there's a big drop off on the other side. You've got to be super careful when you're driving in dune country because it can be really difficult to see what's, uh, what's coming up ahead, particularly on a cloudy day where there aren't any shadows and stuff like that. If you come to a really steep uh, descent, reach the top, you wanna get your front wheels over the top, you don't wanna stop before the top, otherwise you're gonna beat yourself right on top of the, the crest and you're gonna get stuck there. So when you're attacking a, a sand dune, again, I'd recommend if it's really steep, engage low range, and you'll wanna put a little bit of throttle on as you go over the top, and then 
no matter how steep it is, you're gonna be okay because the sand will help arrest your, your descent. So you can just back off on the throttle and let the thing go gradually down the bottom. Now on some steep descents, the vehicle can start to uh, skew to one side or, or something like that. Always point the steering to the bottom of the hill. Don't start driving across the sand. That's where you get into strife. If it starts getting a little bit out of shape, just keep it pointed towards the bottom. Give it a little bit of throttle if you have to, and then drive on out. Oh, and one last thing. Don't use your brake when you're going down a steep dune because that'll put too much weight on the front. Uh, you're not, you don't want to do that. You can just utilize the engine braking as we've done on any other descent and the sand will help slow you down. And then you can get on the gas to keep it pointing in the right direction and just go and drive yourself out at the bottom. I just want to re-emphasize that point. Always drive to the bottom of the dune. Don't drive across a dune. And that's a good tip when you're going up as well. If you're going up a dune, always drive straight up it. Don't drive across it. So that's it. 4x4 Australia's how-to off-road guide on steep descents and how to do them safely. To sum up, you just need to know your vehicle, you need to get the settings right, you need to have a good look around, engage low range, let the engine braking do the work for you, and that's pretty much it. Enjoy! <laughs>